Hello, my name is Frank from WP Development Courses. And in this video, we're going to see what you can do if you have written a theme.json file and it's not working. Now, before we get to that, if you struggle with using theme.json, I got a free email course that teaches you how to use the most important features of theme.json. So check the first link below the video if you're interested in that. All right, back to fixing a theme.json file. There are two cases here. The first is that none of the instructions in the theme.json are getting applied. And that's a sign that the entire file is broken. Now the second thing, there's just a specific style of setting that's not getting applied. So in this case, it's just an issue with one of the instructions that you have written, whilst the others are all working. So let's start with the first case. And here we have the 2020 theme, and it has a broken theme.json file. So here I'm in the site editor, and you can see that there are none of the styles getting applied. If I open here the settings for the specific blocks, nothing is getting applied. I don't have uh, the palettes. This is just the default site editor. And if you go to the front end, you see that here I got a PHP notice that tells me that there is an issue with decoding the theme.json file. So what's the issue here? Well, the issue with this theme.json file is that it's not correct JSON. So JSON is a file format and things in that file have to be written a certain way. And when there's an issue with how this file is written, PHP cannot decode it and you cannot tell WordPress what kind of settings or styles you want to use. So how can you fix that? Well, for that, you can go to your editor. Now here I am using uh, VS Code, which is a free editor, but there are a bunch of other ones. And what a good editor has, it understands JSON file formats. So here I see that when I look at my theme of JSON, there is an error here. So it's marked by this red line and it tells me there's an end of file error. So that's because here I forgot to add the opening brace. So if I add an opening brace here, you see that the error disappears and this is again a valid theme.json file. Another thing which is quite common is that you just add a comma here. So that's called a trailing comma. So here again, the editor tells me this is not valid JSON. I just remove this, I save this, the file is valid again. Now if I go to the browser and I reload this, front end comes back and also the editor comes back. So that's the first case again where there's an issue with how the JSON in the file is structured and everything is broken. Now the second issue that you can run into is that you're writing a theme.json file and you see that stuff is getting applied. So here I have the layout settings that are getting applied. Here I have the topography that's getting applied. But here there should be a color palette, but I'm not seeing it. And if I go to the editor, I see that here I have a palette entry. And so this is the theme.json file of the hybrid 2020 theme. So that's just the default theme to which I added the theme.json file. And if I were to deal with this, to debug this, it would be quite hard to do. So the only issue here is that there is a slight typo, so palette needs to get two Ts. Well, luckily, there is a schema for theme.json. Now, schema is just a fancy way of saying that this file needs to be written in a certain way. And this is defined through a schema. And using the schema, your editor can actually read out what you've written and tell you if you went wrong. Now, the way this works is that when we go to the browser here, there is a post on the Make WordPress Themes block, and it tells you all about theme.json schema, so how it works. And the most important part is this. So if you take this snippet here and you go back to the editor and you just paste it here at the top, I need to add a comma. You see, else this would be invalid JSON. And now what you can see is that the editor tells me that the property palette with one T is not allowed. So here, if I add a T, this is valid JSON again. So when you include this schema instruction here at the top, your editor knows how this file sh should be structured. And if you make a mistake, for example, you'll be writing color in uh, the British way, it would just tell you, look, um, this is not an allowed property. And this way you can have assistance while writing things. Another thing which is quite cool here is that if I start typing stuff out, I see that now I got autocomplete for the various items that I could add under the color key in settings. So that's a really cool way to write all the JSON files without having to go back to the documentation because once you've understood the overall structure, uh, you can just use the autocomplete to help you write these instructions. 
All right, that's it. Now you are an expert at writing and fixing Fiona JSON files. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the links below. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.